Okay, I get it. I know I'm just a cup. I know I'm just a day off. But I forgot to do a review of this. Um, as some of you guys may know, I did do um a reaction to the overtime um uh, finishes to um the Kansas Speedway race last uh yesterday. And um, now I'm finally giving you guys a review of the race. So um, what I think the race was it was. It was just a typical Kansas race. It's just clean, dry racing. But until we got to um, two laps to go, uh, caution came out, um, and then it just got exciting um, uh, right there and there. Um, so um, yeah, but we're in the round of eight. Um, let's hope we didn't. Let's try to see if we can actually. Get all the way up there to get our second championship. Even though my pick is Denny Hamlin for the championship. We can still do it. Even though we're in the round of eight. If we get eliminated, I'm going to be so ticked off. Because of our, um... We're having so much effort. I'm still waiting for win number seven. But uh, I remember, uh... You guys remember, um... Uh, IndyCar... Joseph Newgarner won the championship. He's actually my favorite IndyCar driver. And now, that was his second championship. Wouldn't that be awesome if, um, Warner Tourette Jr. can actually win the championship this year? And Joseph Newgarner won the championship in 2017. He won the, and Truett won the championship in 2017. And Joseph Newgarner won the championship in September, making him a two-time champion. But, what if we win the championship next month? That would be awesome. It would be like 2017 all over again. Even though I didn't watch um racing um even though I didn't watch racing until the end uh nearly the end of 2017. So I um the only race that I got to saw for 2017 was Truex winning the championship. And um but enough talk about championships. We're gonna we're gonna be talking about Kansas, so it was just a typical Kansas race. Wasn't expecting much from Kansas. Um, um, what can I say? It was really, the, really nothing happened at Kansas. It's just a typical, typical Kansas race. Um, um yeah, basically I have nothing to say. <laughs> but, uh, we do that, we have Martinsville next week. Wait. It's this week, actually. <laughs> because this is going to be uploaded on a Monday. <laughs> and Is this a Sunday race or a Saturday night race? It's a Sunday race. Wait. I think it is. Hold on. Let me check. Hold on. Just give me a sec. I'm just about to start typing in. Hold on. Mm. Um, first date of 500, Sunday, October, to October 27th, 2 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, which is, looks like it's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the, for uh, them, but um, it's going to be 2 o'clock for me, and it's going to be at Martinsville Speedway. Oh, oh, I totally forgot, um... The Tyler Reddick and Cole Custer fight. Hold on. I'm seeing it on the news right here. Um. Right. Right. Uh, right there. Here. So. Oh, I can close this. I need that for screw tomorrow. Um. Oof. But anyways, um, yeah, nothing really happened at Kansas. It was just a typical Kansas race, so. I know I'm a day off, I'm sorry. Um, but, ooh, it's getting night. It's getting, uh, pretty dark out there. I need to, what time is it right now? Hold on, I, I can't tell. 8.05, so I gotta get to bed quick. But, um, anyways, yeah. Um, that's my review, and, um, I'll be doing a review for, uh, the remaining races. How many are there left? 
Um, we just had Kansas. So, Martinsville. Texas. Okay. We got four races left until the end of the season. This year has went by so fast. Seems just like yesterday. Seems just like yesterday the season just got started. Wow. Feels like yesterday the 2019 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series just started. I can't believe it. We're almost. We're already almost the 2020. We're almost to the 2020s. We're almost getting up to a new decade. <laughs> I'm gonna live for two decades. Well, not really, not yet. I live for a decade and four years right now. It will be de it will be a decade and five years next year in May. So, I can't believe I'm almost 15 already. My sister's almost 10. It's almost Christmas too. Which, um, people are already celebrating Christmas right now. <laughs> it's almost Halloween, too! Can't believe it! Ten days! <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, um... I'm gonna get out of here now. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the review, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'll be back at Martinsville, um, to do a review. And do a Texas review, Phoenix review, and um, uh, the Homestead review, and how I thought the season turned out. So yeah. Anyways, oh, also here's a here's a here's a little something something. Um, I'm currently remastering the um, the rocket launch scenario video. It will be um probably probably upload within two weeks, and uh, you stay tuned for that. Here's an and here's another something something. In Homestead, um, and Warner Truex Jr. is getting a little bit close to winning the championship. Like if he's in the lead, for like five laps to go, then I'll uh, do a uh, then I'll do a reaction to Warner Truex Jr. possibly winning the championship. But if Denny Hamlin actually um. Mason to the championship four, then I'm pretty sure he might win the championship because Homestead is his um track and um he's really good at Martinsville. So um big possibility. So um we have a fifty fifty. Um yeah, we have a we have like a fifty fifty. So it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. Uh, the uh the the last the last month of racing is gonna be it's gonna be wicked, or should I say the last three four weeks, which is technically a month. So, anyways, one more month of racing to go until we decide who will be your 2019 Cup Series champion. And uh here are my pits for the champions. Um the Gander Outdoors Truck Series. I'm picking Ross Chess name because why not? And he is eligible for points, so Let's say he might get it. If and he does win, the, and if he does win the championship, I can't wait to see his reaction because when he wins the race, I just love his reactions. Even though I don't like him winning all the time, it's just he's okay. I don't hate him, but um, it's just it's just very frustrating that he keeps winning all the time. But for me, um, but anyways, um, am I pit for the Xfinity Series champion? is a uh, Cole Custer. I think he can do it. And um and as you just heard in this video, Danny Hamlin's my pick for the Cup Series championship. So um Ross Chastain, Cole Custer, and and Danny Hamlin are the ones that I think will win the championship this year. But anyways, this was just a long review, so I'm gonna get out of here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. I'll be back next. I'll be um back after Martinsville and Texas and Phoenix and Homestead to do a race review to those races. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night, and I'll see y'all later.